candid, the journey of Borboleta has been the most heart-wrenching journey that I've ever been on. And when I first started, I was like, there's going to be no drama. Like, I'm just going to start this business. I'm going to empower women. We're all going to rally together. We're going to stand behind each other. No growing pains whatsoever. No, I lived in this world of like, everything's going to be like what you see on Instagram. But what I found out um, through the process of hiring friends and things not working out with them and firing friends and mm, ouch, it was painful. And then all of the backlash of like, you know, having to wake up every day and say like, gosh, you know, there's a lot of people that probably really don't like me or they think that I'm a certain way that I'm really not. And like, I just grew up over the past six years of Borboleta and it led me to this point to grow up in so many areas. And one of those was don't work with friends, grow up and hire experts in, in what you need experts in. And I'm a firm believer that we treat people how to treat us. Yes. You teach and them how to treat you. So when, yes, take responsibility for it. If you're having a hard time in your business and you're not jiving with your team and you're realizing like working with friends isn't as fun as you thought it was going to be, <laughs> take responsibility for it. And guess what? I learned that, yes, I made a lot of mistakes. I made a lot of mistakes as a business owner and as a friend, and I took responsibility for that, and I fired my friends. Yeah. You probably saved the relationship in some of them, and some of them that didn't, you probably weren't that good of friends with to begin with. I mean, I didn't save the relationship really with any of them, just to be <laughs> You're fair. You're like, deuces. <laughs> and here's the other thing that terrified me, and I think a lot of business owners go through this. You have this moment of like, I can't fire my friends because they're gonna block me on Instagram, they're gonna unfollow me, and they're gonna talk sh on me. Like, what I don't want to put up with that so the easier alternative for them is to just continue working with their friends and continue tainting a relationship mm. and when I finally got over it and I was like guess what unfollow me block me tell the world what you hate about me that's totally fine I've got to get you out of my life I've got to get you out of my business so that I can bring in somebody that's an expert that is going to help me lift yes and I will be standing back I will wish you well and I'm not going to talk about our garbage because I don't need to. I don't need to put my energy into what you're upset about and what I'm upset about. This is our departing conversation. This is where I let it lie. And I wish I could say that there's this magical way that you can fire somebody, a friend, and just like have Not the relationship. Not feel anything. <laughs> yeah, and just have the relationship go on like without a hitch. I haven't had that experience. I mean, I'm, I'm sure people some have. people have, but I haven't. And I can say letting go of friends and anybody that you have to let go of. It's never easy, but for me, it's always been the best decision because I see the impact that one, it makes on me, two, it makes on my team, and three, I see who the position gets filled by, and it changes our business immensely. Right. And I never look back and say, man, I really shouldn't have let that person go. There's lessons to be learned in all of that, even in the hiring process, like how you bring people on so that you don't have to go through that situation again. Yes, yeah. it's so important. So going back to, yes, we we have curated a team that really is amazing. And I think it's because everybody on the team decided that they want to work together and we want to work for an amazing goal together. And nobody's here to undercut Everybody that's on the team fits into the culture. They support one another.